Hello guys and welcome to my channel and today uh, in this video uh, a lot of you have recommended asked me how uh, I got my uh, browser to look the way it looks in my previous videos so I'll be basically going over how I uh, set everything up and how you can do it so first thing is uh, let's change the theme of this and the theme that I use is called Cascade. So uh, Cascade Firefox. So if we go here, uh, this is uh, the theme or the CSS, the custom CSS uh, that I use. And to install it, all uh, we need to do is uh, this region right here. So let's uh, go through this. First, uh, we need to go to our about config and uh, search for this, 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 and set them all to true. So open up a new tab, about config, and continue. And I'll just copy this guy, paste it here, and set that to true by clicking on uh, this button right here. Uh, next one is this right here. I'll set that to true and this set that to true. And also set this to true. All right, now that we're done with that, uh, if you're on Windows, you can go to uh, this location. If you're on Mac OS, you can go to this. But since I'm on Linux, I will go to uh, go here. So if I go to uh, CD Mozilla Firefox, and then in there, uh, I will see my default uh, release, which is this thing right here. So CDZR default release, and then now in here, uh, uh, we want to see if the uh, directory Chrome exists. It does not exist, so I'm going to uh, make directory Chrome, and then inside Chrome, uh, we need to install the user Chrome.css. Uh, which is this one right here. So what I'm going to do is click on it and then uh, I'll go to the raw, copy the URL, double you get that right here and then now that's there. So if I close out Firefox and open Firefox again, now I should uh, get this, the new theme. So, uh, the Cascade theme, uh, Cascade Firefox, uh, this one is mostly centered around all the keyboard uh, shortcuts, so you, don't, you cannot see any of the close, uh, close tab icons here. So, uh, the shortcut keys are here for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Uh, that you can use and do that if you don't want a, a keyboard center uh, browser then what you can do is there is this thing called waterfall and you do the same thing uh, then you just uh, copy the waterfall uh, instead of uh, the cascade so that's how I get my uh, theme for this now uh, the next part is my start page. So the start page uh, that I use is called yet another generic start page uh, by our pretty coffee. So uh, these are the ones that are available. 
and here we can go to the demo and click on start page now uh, to get this to work what we need to do is so the one that I use uh, the theme for that is let me go back is this one this theme but slightly changed a little bit so uh, in the themes folder we can see uh, there are all the JSON files I guess also uh, Elden Ring Dark Souls black and white I think this one is called black and white if I'm not wrong yeah this should be black and white so how I set this up is I go to uh, the demo and in the settings uh, we can go to themes uh, black and white JSON I'll just uh, go to raw and download this somewhere Okay, after we download the uh, JSON uh, for the theme, what we need to do is go here and uh, basically import, download uh, the JSON file, and now we will see uh, the theme here. Uh, next, what I did was I didn't want it all the thing. Uh, so if I go to Libra Wolf. Uh, my theme is uh, my start page is pretty basic with just uh, not all that much of the thing, all that much of the uh, shadow. So to get rid of that, uh, we can go to the settings, and uh, there are a bunch of stuff that we can change, like uh, shadow count. I change that to uh, one, and then change the shadow offset by a little bit, increase the blur, change the border radius. Uh, increase the width and you can also change the coloring and then you can change the font uh, you can use Google font uh, for web engine search engine you can uh, change it to anything you like and once you're done with everything uh, what you can do is you can uh, what I like to do there are a bunch of other ways to do it but I, I just uh, zip me a copy and uh, it will give me a copy download the copy of that and I can so basically there is the where did it go? Yep, right there. Uh, mini uh yogs dot uh zip and after that what I will do is if I go to documents I have not cloned it yet so if I uh, github.com if I go to repositories uh, there should be a start page right here so uh, basically I'll make a new directory if you haven't done anything like this before so you'll make a, a new directory and make, let's say name it start page and then cd into start page and next, uh, copy things from downloads. Onto this folder and then unzip. And now we'll have our index.html script.js style.css and all that stuff. Then uh, we can move or we can keep it in there or remove it depends on it. Uh, it depends on, a, on the person so uh, if I open this up Firefox and HTML I should see uh, the new one uh, that I generated next is doing uh, git git init and then it'll create a git repository and uh, we so can upload uh, if this we go to the GitHub pages, like push it yeah. onto GitHub. It, say, uh, it says that I have deployed it, and in settings, what you can, what you need to do is basically uh, go to pages and uh, enable page, and then you can either you don't need to choose a theme uh, for brands. You can set uh, main branch for the and then root, 
and since you have already have the index.html it will use that and uh, I have a custom uh, domain for my github pages so if I go over there which is my uh, git.doctormuscovm.xyz start page and I will see this start page next uh, is to ha add a so I'm not sure if Firefox allows this, but in LibreWolf, uh, I needed, uh, uh, if I go to extensions and add-ons, which is called uh, new tab override. And what we can do is we can add this to Firefox, add, okay. And then for the URL, I will paste in uh, my uh, let's type it out https okay right here and uh, it will show me uh, my start page and every time I open up a new tab it will show me the start page and the tabs are set up the way it is and that should give you this browser right here and uh, yeah, you can change the links and the bookmarks in the before you download the chip. And after you do all that, you should be set and good to go. Thank you.